In this video, I will show you how to use Buzz Sumo. So, Buzz Sumo is a social listening tool that helps you monitor social media platforms for mentions of brands, specific keywords, phrases, or hashtags. You can use it to track and measure the success of marketing campaigns, identify potential customers or leads, and understand how the competition is doing. So, if you want to learn exactly how to use Buzz Sumo, then you are in the right place, so make sure to watch until the end of this video. So once you're on the Boss Sumo website right here, you can see what they can do for you. So they can help you do outreach, they can help you with discovery, research, monitoring, they have a Chrome extension that helps you research content on the go, they can help you find influencers and they have an API that helps you automate. So first what you want to do is click on 30 day free trial. Just go ahead and create your account right here. So now you will need to verify your account. So you need to connect to your Facebook account in order to verify you are a real person. Then you need to tell them a little bit about yourself. So what are your main goals? So select one of these options. I'll just do content research, strategy and ideation. Then select which country or region you are based in. And answer if you are an agency. I will select no and then simply click on get started. So now you have created your account and you don't even need a credit card for this. So this is what the dashboard looks like. Here you have the home section, then discover, content, outreach, influencers, monitoring and projects. So let's just start in the discover section since that is where you start off. So when you click on discover, you will see content ideas generator, trending feeds, keyword tools, topic explorer and a question analyzer. So let's start off with the content ideas generator. So when you click on that, it will take you right here. Now here you need to enter a topic or keyword. So we'll just take the example right here that is content marketing. So then they will show us some keywords. So I will choose content marketing for small business. Then simply click on search. And when you scroll down a bit, you will see some content ideas. So here you get ideas from the most evergreen content, which means that it is not based on a trend, but for example, five years, it will still be relevant. So here you can see the evergreen score. So for example, this is not very evergreen, but this is. So here you can get some ideas. You can click on the link and then it will open it up. But they have more features. You can get ideas from popular keywords. So here you can see some keywords that have to do with the topic that you searched up. So for example, content marketing in digital marketing, you will see the volume. So this is the number of searches that this specific keywords gets per month. And you will also see the CPC, which is the cost per click. Now you can also get more keywords by clicking on more keywords right here. And that will take you to the keyword tool, but we'll go back there in a minute. Then here you will see some questions that people search for that have to do with your topic. So these are the most relevant how questions, these are the most relevant why questions, and these are the most relevant what questions. So for example, how can small businesses identify their ideal target audience for their content marketing efforts? So that is a question that you could then go ahead and answer. And we scroll a bit further, you will see some more topics. So then here it will just help you get some ideas for potential keywords that you could make. So you will see some ranking content for the keyword, you can search for it on Wikipedia, Quora and Reddit. And now the second step is that you can create your own content. So you will see the format and most of it on this keyword is a list format. You will see the word count. So the most popular word count is 3000 to 10,000. Now you need to go ahead and distribute your content. So the networks that are most used are Facebook in this case and X after that. And this audience prefers to consume the content on this specific keyword on Saturdays. So then the best day to publish would be on Saturday. So that helps you find content ideas on anything you type in right here. Now you also have the trending feeds section right here. So here you will see trending news and trending feeds. So these are just very general, but you can also search for a specific topic, for example, marketing. And now here you will see trending feeds on the topic of marketing. Now you can even choose a country right here. You can create a custom feed and you can select feeds. Then you can see that this post right here is very trending right now. And then you can open up the post and you can see it right here. Now they also have the keyword tool. So here you can enter a keyword or a domain. So for example, if you enter YouTube, you will see the search volume for YouTube. You will see the cost per click and the articles published. 
So now here you can get some similar keywords such as YouTube music, YouTube videos, and a bunch more stuff right here. So for example, YouTube studio login, you can see the search volume here. So now you also have a topic explorer. So you can enter any topic right here. For example, if I enter Samrush, you will see some similar keywords or topics right here. So for example, the biggest one here is search engine marketing. And this will just give you inspiration and you can fill any of these in in the keyword tool to find more keywords based off of what you see right here. Then they also have a question analyzer. So you can find the most popular questions for any topic, keyword or subreddit. For example, if I type in Instagram, here you will see the most searched for questions on Instagram. So you can filter on R, can, how, etc. So for example, if I filter on what, you will see the most recent questions right here. For example, what should I do if my mom sends me a follow request on Instagram, but I don't want to accept it. So you can filter by any keyword here. So for example, who, and here are just questions that you can answer. Now you can also click few related themes and you will see themes that are related. For example, IG, Instagram influencer and more right here. So that's the discover section. So this basically helps you find keywords. Now you can also go to the content section. Here you have a content analyzer, a Facebook page analyzer, a YouTube analyzer and a backlink analyzer. So let's say you want to use the content analyzer. Now here you can enter a topic, brand, URL, domain or select a media list. So for example, if I enter Nike right here, you will see content that has to do with Nike. Now you also have a Facebook page analyzer right here. So in order to use this, you will need to authenticate your Facebook account. But by doing this, you can analyze any Facebook page you would like. You have a YouTube analyzer, so you can find top performing videos on YouTube for a specific keyword. For example, if I search for Pinterest marketing, you will see the top videos on YouTube. You will see the video length, the amount of likes it has, the comments and the views right here. So the likes right here may not be accurate since it has 92,000 views. You can click view full insights and then you will see all of the insights of this specific video. So then finally for the content section, you have the backlink analyzer. So here you can enter any domain or URL and you can find the pages that link to a URL or domain. I also can do outreach right here. So you have a media database, media lists, and you can use pitches. Now let's take a look at the media database. So here you can enter a journalist name, a topic, publications, a publication tier. So just fill in anything right here. For example, if I type in New York Times and click on search, you will now see content that has to do with the New York Times. So you can sort by any of these right here, relevancy, articles published in the past year or average engagement. Now you can also enter a journalist name, topics or whatever else you'd like. Now you also have media lists right here. So you can create a media list and then you can start following your preferred journalists. So then here you'll see everything that your preferred journalists publish. Now you also have influencers, so you can find X influencers or Twitter, TikTok influencers, YouTube influencers and Facebook pages. Let's say I want to find YouTube influencers, then enter a keyword. For example, I will search for affiliate marketing and then here you will see YouTube influencers that have to do with this. So this is Clickbank, which is a company. But here, for example, you have a person that is an affiliate marketing expert and then you have found this person. Now you can do the same for X, Facebook and TikTok. Now you can also use monitoring right here. So you can monitor a brand, competitor, backlinks, content, keywords, authors or journalists and media lists. And finally you have projects right here. So you can create your own projects where you can save items and start making your workflow easier. So you can also invite your teammates simply by entering their email right here and then in clicking on invite you can also choose their access level. And here you will see how long your free trial still lasts. Now as you can see, they have a few different pricing plans from the content creation plan to the PR and comps to suite all the way up to enterprise. And as you can see, it ranges from $159 per month all the way up to $999 per month. So you can basically use this tool called BuzzSumo to find trending posts, do social media monitoring and basically get content IDs. So that concludes this Boss Sumo tutorial. Now you will know how to use Boss Sumo and you can get started with the 30 day free trial. If this tutorial was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.